What I really want to talk about today, though, is the Storm Audio ISP, because this is actually the first event where we are doing public-facing demonstrations of Dirac Live active room treatment. It's been shown to dealers, it's been shown to the industry before, it has not been shown to the general public like this. And in fact, there are actually three different flavors of active room treatment here. There is the Perlison Theater that we've got standing behind me. There is also active room treatment on an MK3 running in the JTR Theater. And there's a third MK3 running active room treatment all the way in the other side of the hall in the room EQ shootout, and that is a Martin Logan system. So everybody who's who's coming through the show actually gets to hear three different iterations nice. and flavors of active room treatment with different speaker systems, and that's awesome. That's really fantastic. Hey guys, we are at M-Wave 2023. We're going through all of these experience rooms here today, and we've got my friend Chris Deutsch with Barco. And so Chris, tell us where we're at. These are massive rooms. Y'all have got a bunch of partners in this room, so tell us a little bit about it. Yes, this is a awesome room. So we have a Barco residential projector. We have the Njord Cinemascope. We are using a Seymour screen. It's a 185 inch diagonal, 2.37 I believe. Acoustically transparent, wonderful screen. Kaleidoscape is our source. MadVR we're using for their exceptional processing. We have Storm Audio for uh, our audio electronics. We have Perlisten for our speakers. Can't forget our row one seating. Uh, it, it's, it's all about keeping your backside comfortable. Am, <laughs> am I right, Todd? That's 100% correct. Exactly, yes, yes. yes. Thank so as, you. As you can see, we got a lot of partners in this room. So Chris, let's walk over here. You've got a cool sure. display. Tell us like some of the technology that goes into Barco and what you brought to the show this year. Yeah, so first of all, just a little basics on Barco. Barco, you may know best for our commercial cinema projectors. We are 54% of the worldwide commercial cinema market. So if you just went to see Indiana Jones, you know, last weekend or something, chances are you saw it on a Barco projector. Now we take those same platforms and then we optimize them further for uh, Barco residential, for sure. home theater. So what we're going to do is we're going to improve the contrast of the optics inside the projector. We're going to improve the contrast of the lenses that we use. We're going to, in some cases, change the laser diodes to hit a wider color gamut for the consumer formats. We're going to make sure we have all the consumer connectivity. That's how we create a Barco residential projector. Uh, ranges from under 30000 okay. to over half a million dollars in terms of price point. We sure. cover a very wide range. We uh, have anywhere from 2,200 lumens to 32,000 lumens. I know that's, wow. what, that's what you want in your next like home theater, can, don't you? man. I would love that, to be honest there with you. There you go. So every Barco projector includes a lens in the price, but no Barco projector includes a lens in the box. Okay. That's because we're going to have a little conversation. We're going to do a little math. We're going to figure out the right lens nice. for that theater. And, and so if I can yeah. just hand you this, sure. just to show you here. So every Barco has a bayonet mount lens. Okay. So I'm going to turn that. And I'm going to pull that out. So some manufacturers talk about a wide zoom range. We have a much more narrow zoom range because these lenses are specialized and they're designed for that specific throw range for the highest resolution. Sure. So I'm gonna line up that red line right with about 12 o'clock. I'm gonna make sure it's properly seated in there and I'm going to turn it. There we go, sorry. Uh, and uh, that's how uh, we install the lens. Now, the Njord projector, I also want to show you the short throw lens okay. for that. So with the Njord projector, which is up here, if we have a imaginary 10-foot uh, screen, right. we can be as close as four and a half feet approximately. Four and a half. Yep. Wow. We can be as far back as over 108 feet. Nice. Now, but this, this is the fun thing, and we're going to want to make sure to get this on video here. Uh, this is Look at the this ultra thing. short throw lens for a Barco New York. Wow. Okay, isn't this magnificent? That is, and I picked it up earlier. That thing is heavy. Yes. So in this application, the New York would be installed vertically. It would be aimed most likely down. So the lens would go in like this. Okay. 
and the projection screen might be on that wall there. So this is how this lens would be used. So we have everything from very short throw to the standard ranges to very long throw, and that is one of the beauties of Barco. One other thing that I want to show here is our Barco Prospector. This, whether you have the Medea, which is a 6,500 lumen projector for just a little under 30,000, or whether you have the Nuorn Cinemascope, which is a 9,000 lumen Cinemascope projector, it's going to use the same Barco Prospector. This is where we do all of our uh, picture settings. This is our calibration that we did earlier ahead of the show. Right. Here are our uh, settings for HDR. Under installation, here is focus, zoom, and shift. Mm -hmm. So everything that we need to do, we, we do over the network, and it's a very user-friendly uh, way to set up the projector. The last thing I want to mention about Barco, not only do we make the most incredible projectors, but if you look over here, this sign, Experience the Northern Lights, this is referring to our new line of LED video walls. Nice. And so we just did an event in Los Angeles. We just installed a 208-inch native 5K CinemaScope video wall, roughly 16 feet wide, right. almost 7 feet tall, almost as tall, a little taller than, well, almost as tall as me. Yeah. Okay? Um, and I got to tell you, this is, I've been uh, doing this for well over 30 years. And this is, without question, the single most impressive new product demo that I have ever experienced. And if uh, anyone is in the Los Angeles area, we encourage them uh, to reach out, and we're happy to uh, figure out a way to make it possible for them to see this fantastic LED video wall. Hey, I'm Chris Seymour from Seymour AV, and we got actually showing a couple things here at M Wave 2023. Yes. So this first one I want to show you over here. This is our new Center Stage UF version two material, and we've reduced uh, the weave and improved the fineness of the texture. So now you can put your nose up to the material. Uh, you can't see any weave, any holes, any texture. It looks like a completely solid screen material. But what this enables us to do, being acoustically transparent, is we can follow best video practices. We can size it however big and cinematic we want at the proper height that we want. We don't have obstacles anymore with speakers. Mm -hmm. and, but it also allows us to get that cinematic image cinematic sounds with our best acoustic practices as well. We can have identical channels behind the screen, properly located, on axis, so we don't have to have smiley face with the center channel sitting on the floor, yeah. so we don't have floor boundaries, wall boundaries. Acoustically, this is what the mastering studios do, so it enables us to perform at a higher level as well. Uh, we're showing off as well the what we debuted at last year's M-Wave, uh -oh. an accessory product, Look and at these this are here, these side masks called retro masks. So if we were showing some 16.9 content, you wouldn't have, you know, uh, uh, stuff, the content showing over here. It would sure. just be black bars. That's correct. But what then this would do is it would eat those black bars up and kill, uh, delete those for you like a masking screen should. Sure. And it's also, this version is acoustically transparent, so it's okay if we drop down in front of those left-right uh, speakers. Regarding masking, the cool thing is in our projector shootout over there, we have uh, uh, two screens, one on the left, one on the right. And on the one on the left, we can actually engage a motorized masking system. So it's really fun. We can actually then compare a less expensive projector yeah. with masking, yes. and people start actually preferring that image because it's properly framed and get that contrast boost compared to maybe a more expensive projector unmasked. Yeah. So we actually took some pictures of that, got some feedback from the room. It's a fun uh, fun thing to show. But regarding masking, I've been saving you something. All right. So for this year's show, I wanted to save a little trick with masking. Okay. Let's go on over to the, the masking screen. I want to show you what we're doing. So Chris, last year we were at M-Wave 2022, and I remember specifically we had two of your 150-inch screens side by side, and I had never experienced masking. Yeah. And so I always thought masking just hides gray bars. I'm thinking, oh, it's not a big deal, right? Yeah. I, lights go out, it, it's okay, it's cool. I specifically remember we had a lesser expensive projector over here, much more expensive projector over here, and everybody said, I like this one better. This one, it's a beautiful image, but this one isn't as good. And you said, guys, hang on a second. You put the masking on top and bottom, and I kid you not, pretty much the entire group just went, oh, it was just this, like, 
aha moment like yeah. you've got to be kidding me and what they shared during that conversation was this image now looked better perceptually in their brain than this image so kind of tell us about what is masking? What do you have going on here at the show to show that? So at the projector shootout we're doing here, we actually did that where we've got a $5,000 projector on the left and a $26,000 projector on the wow. right. I click the masking button, it kicks in, and now everybody, they started, well, wow, this $5,000 projector, like not only you know, does it kill that difference, but we actually would rather watch that. So what masking does for you is, is it not only properly frames your image, but sure. it gives you a contrast perception boost. And that's what that's the number one thing everybody's fighting over is, is getting that contrast to the image because that's the dynamics, the fidelity of you know, the image that you're watching. So we brought this screen out. Um, you've seen this before. This is what we had at last wave, last M Wave show, and this is our inexpensive called the Proscenium. So we say it's motorized masking at a fixed frame price. But these start in the you know three thousand ish range. Uh, I think the big one in there that we're showing off as a list price was around fifty eight hundred. Okay. But that's that's a fraction of the price of any of these motorized masking screens available anywhere. Still handmade to order, custom for you in Ames, Iowa. This one has the motorized top and bottom masks, but we've had some enthusiasts, of, as we always do, sure. saying, hey, well, what if I'm watching other aspect ratios as well? And they've just the ultimate apex predator of masking screens is the four-way. Yeah. And we make them. Really? But they can get a very, very, very expensive. So let me show you a little trick that I've been saving for you for this show. What we did was with, we took this proscenium frame and we took our magnetic masking screen panels as well. So you can see the back side of them as well. Look at the quality of that. Nice extruded aluminum. But what we're going to do is we're going to pop these guys in here. And now you've got side masks, nice. which you've got a four-way screen now. And so you this can helps still cut down on the cost, still provides the same contrast perception, increased boost, beautiful sure. image. We could do a smaller image within an image. Nice. Maybe you can do four, three ratio, but you can start playing in the four way screen ways for like 10% of the cost of what an actual motorizing you know, in all four directions would be. Right. So that's an M-Wave uh, product right there. I love it, man. I love that you're <laughs> introducing that here. And I love the fact that you've created these small kind of to where people can kind of come up and touch and yeah. look and see and get a visual without having to bring the whole big shebang. And you've even got other ones over here, so let's take yep. a look at those as well. We're showing our different extrusions available here. So our small metro, our midsize, but econo this is our economical uh, uh, frame, the precision frame, mm -hmm. and then our premiere. And we're trying to show you know, different screen materials. This is the Center Stage XD, which I think is the single most used material. This in is what the, I have in, in my ABS home, group. and I love That's it. That's right. I absolutely love it. That's right. Uh, we have ambient light rejecting materials, so we can continue discussions with them. I got a microperf version of this as well, um, but at least we can s show them what it even looks like. Sure. And then with the metro frame screen, we've got you know bias lighting as an option, um, but just showing that. Uh, what are we doing at these different extrusions? Yeah. Because that hardware package is mostly what's driving the cost you know, for what you're buying. Sure, and it looks like we can change the colors on here. Is there like an app that you use there to is, control that? There is, we're developing controls this year, so nice. I'll have more to talk about that with this fall. Awesome, But awesome. this is some preliminary stuff that we're able to show. We can do tunable whites, as that's what I mostly advocate for. Absolutely, you got the bias um, lighting, but- But you can have some fun too. There are enthusiasts that, not while you're watching a movie, but you got sure. guests walking in, you got the cool vibe, then you turn on your, you know, your ambient lighting, bias yeah, sure. lighting and and, go and my there. my position with the bias the tunable whites well we were the first company that came out with a tunable white okay. bias lighting on screen to then correct for what's going on in your room okay. so like if you have a warm yellowish color tones in your room right. you can then actually dial this bias lighting to a cooler setting wow. and then end up because the goal is to not taint the taint the image and contaminate that or color tint it sure. so you can end up with a perfect 6500k result other way too, you got a kind of a blue looking room. We can go warmer with the uh, LEDs and you can still get that net biased uh, result. So you can still get the laboratory result, which yeah. you can go buy, but yeah. then you need a nice neutral room to keep that. Yeah. We can compensate. Well, Chris, you guys at Seymour are, are, I think you're leading the way innovation. You've got some really cool products. I love what you're doing. And you guys have been 
really a founding supporter of M-Wave. So we're super grateful for you. Absolutely. We love what you're doing. Man, I'm just excited about where Seymour is going to be next year at M-Wave 2024 and beyond. So yeah, super, super great. Anything else? This is what we do. Show you the barware over yeah, here as well. Aha, uh -huh. this is a prize. This is right another here. secret uh, reveal for M Wave. These are the, uh, the most one of a kind thing that we've ever created. Um, these actually, we, we didn't just buy these, we actually hand etched these in the shop individually. Um, the velvet is the exact same velvet we use on our frame. Our velvet people took the time off to make this for us. That is super cool. Um, we etch metal as well. They call this an anodized stainless, which doesn't necessarily make sense, but it's gorgeous. So we've got three different sets of barware here in our custom cases, and uh, we're going to be giving those away. Here at M-Wave 2023, That's right. somebody's going to walk home. Now, they got to be able to drive this home. We're not shipping this home. That's right. We definitely wouldn't want to do that. But And then they got to invite us over for drinks. There you go. That's, that's not a big ask, is it? No, no, it's easy. Super <laughs> cool. we got other folks here in this room, so let's go ahead and get with them. Hi, everybody. My name's Todd. I'm with Row One Home Theater and Home Entertainment Seating. Really excited to sit down at M-Wave 2023 here in Kansas City live with none other than my good friend michael Amen. youth man nice to see you my friend yes man this has been fun yeah. it's been an amazing event and you guys showed up in a big way walk us through kind of what are we sitting yeah. in what models do you have and kind of what does row one bring to the home theater community yeah get started let's get comfortable how's I, that sound i like it so let's just uh let's bring that seat back up okay get a little comfortable for us right ah i like that Feel a little bit of love behind yeah. the shoulders oh so you know row one with we have four home theater seating models in our lineup, and we have the first uh, model in home entertainment seating. Okay. Um, so here at the show, uh, we brought in the back row there, we brought the, the Cortez model home theater, and that, that represented a year ago uh, the evolution of home theater seating. But the Calvary, what we're in, uh, Michael, really represents the revolution mm. of home theater seating. And there's some, some really unique things that we did here uh, in this chair, including the ability to just give love right from the beginning. Yeah. So. And one thing I like about this is sometimes we, as home theater enthusiasts, if we have speakers that are right next to us or kind of low in the back, our seating can actually kind of block that. And so some of the you know, the guys that are really, really hardcore, they're like, I don't want anything, you know, kind of protruding behind my head. And so having the ability to lower that down. That's right. Yeah. And enjoy that. It's a very modern style. Or if you're like me and you just want to chill, you, so right. it gives you some flexibility. I like that. Yeah. I mean, a revolution should be different. Yeah. Right. And so this is two years of research. And one of them is that, you know, that ability to start out. And even when we have this up the no obstruction to our ears, right, yeah. for the sound. Uh, that makes a big difference in the quality, especially in a room like this where we don't want any sound blockage. So, and then a couple other features that we give credit to women for, believe yeah. it or not. So one of them is you'll notice on that end that you see that cup holder, but here you don't. Okay. And so a simple feature like a sliding arm oh, pad no was way. requested. Yeah. Look at that. Right. So, nice. So when you don't want, don't need it, just slide that up and look it, at you man and it disappears right so then on that back corner here one of the other requests is you've kind of seen you know the reading light hasn't really evolved in home theater chairs sure. and so this reading light is touch sensitive to bring it on right fully rotates folds down and voila 100 percent wireless okay and the last unique feature if you look back here for just a second on a traditional theater chair, the storage was always achieved by some type of pull-up feature, right? Correct, yeah. Um, hardware, so women had given us feedback, said, can't we innovate that? How can we revolutionize that? So we created the world's first pull and store drawer. Nice. And they said, Todd, you make sure that that light <laughs> stores in that. And we've got a lot of fun things planned for that drawer, Michael. Um, so those are just some of the unique features in the Calvary. Todd, I love the fact that you're listening to your customers. And I love it when a, when a, a brand says, you know what, we're not just going to give you what we want, but what do you want? What are your needs as a consumer? That's innovation. That's where 
you begin to lead the way in your space and I'm super excited. This is my first time sitting in the row one, super comfortable. They're beautiful seats and you've got a lot of variety. How many models do you have roughly? Yeah, so we've got a total of four in our home theater line and then we've got one in the home entertainment line. And the beautiful part, you've got luxurious feel, innovative features, but yet affordable. So our whole lineup of the different models, the retail range is a thousand to not more than eighteen ninety five per chair. Awesome. So in the world of seating, yeah. that's pretty affordable to both the AV enthusiast and just a general homeowner as well that's looking for furniture for their home. So, I mean, it's exciting. Um, a lot of people don't know too, Michael, and I want to just take a moment to mention, you know, as a manufacturer, we care about the community. Mm -hmm. um, we love the fact that consumers are choosing Real One products, but we are building to actually help some social causes. So we're really excited to share with you and your viewers. Stay tuned for September 1st for a big announcement on what we're gonna be doing in the homeless space mm -hmm. and also to help some founders that are out there in the world. If you have an idea, come see Michael, youth man, talk to the idea. If you are a woman or a black and brown founder, we're gonna be doing some funding in that space awesome. because innovation's gonna come from that next generation, so. I yeah. love what you're doing. I love yeah. what you're doing, man. So thanks so much. Absolutely. Right. Good to see you. Hi, I'm Eric from Prolison Audio, and we're uh, really excited to be here at uh, M-Wave. This is our first year here, and uh, it's been great so far. Awesome. And uh, we're just here to talk a little bit about our uh, setup here. And uh, we're demoing with Storm the new art technology, along with uh, a lot of our other par partners that we've been uh, doing this great home theater with. It takes a lot of, a lot of work to get everybody coordinated, so but it turned out great and we were really excited. Well, you definitely got one of the biggest rooms here. You've got this massive system. Walk us through like what speakers did you bring and uh, let's talk a little bit about that. Yeah, when you get started into a home theater uh, build or even a two channel system, when you do a show, it's really difficult because Absolutely. you never know what you're gonna get. Um, rooms are either too small or too big. Yeah. There's always, you, you're, you always wanna make sure it's a great experience. Um, so that everybody loves it, but also that you show your products well. Uh, so it's really difficult. It's challenging. It's 100%. challenging and knowing, uh, hey, uh, how loud do I need to be? Sure. And, you know, what are the metrics? Um, so it's, it's, we're really excited here. We got our S-Series line up here. Um, so basically you're looking at $94,000 approximately okay. in loudspeakers here. Um, we have 7.7.4. .7 essentially. Wow. So uh, the end of, you know, those seven subwoofers are really a dot one. Uh, the industry is kind of sure. turning into an LFE as yeah. a dot one, yeah. but everybody loves to know how many subwoofers. Right? Absolutely. It just makes yeah. sense. And I wish that was like a standard just because it is confusing because there's technically one. Yeah, exactly. But when you say it's, it's, yeah. they, they need to work in unison and that makes yeah. a lot of sense, right? Yeah. Uh, so we have our flagship D215S. We got two of those up yes. front. So those are 3000 watt uh, push pull technology. Um, and that enables really uh, second order cancellation, 10 to 12 dB, which is a huge amount, um, and then the full DSP control. Um, and so that's a, our flagship subwoofer. And up front, we got three single, or two single uh, D15Ss, mm -hmm. so single 15 in a sealed box. And then in the back, we've got three more. Nice. And really what that enables is, one, output capabilities for such a huge room. Yes. Um, but also that the art technology can work. Um, so more sources enables um, the more cancellation of room modes. And that's right. what's really great about art technology. Also in decay time. So the room and some of the issues that it has, you can actually help take out. But what do you need to do that? You need long, linear excursion. You can't just, you, you must have volume displacement. And so that's why it's a great pairing uh, with the sealed subs and having a lot of excursion, a lot of power uh, to handle those situations. I had an opportunity to come in here and demo and you got this beautiful screen, massive, yep. having your speakers directly behind that, anchoring that front sound stage, big bass in this room. And like I said, this room is massive and we realize that. Yeah. Normally you're used to going to a small room in a hotel yeah. room and yep. that's challenging. Yep. But we wanted to provide some big rooms to be able to give folks full Dolby Atmos experiences. And we love the fact that you partner with Storm to really just help uh, kind of showcase what art's all about. And so I love that. Yeah, and it's uh, one of the advantages of having such a big room is there's not a lot of restrictions like on height. Uh, you know, we got the, our, our surrounds up here. We got mm -hmm. four. Uh, Atmos or uh, top level speakers in the system setup. 
and therefore, uh, you know, we didn't have any restrictions of, you know, where placement is on sure. those. And that opens it up a lot, too. Yeah. So it gives you some advantages also as well. Um, we got the S4B as our surround. This is a Dominus level surround. Um, so uh, great. It's our, one of our flagship bookshelf. Uh, custom veneers. Um, even for a bookshelf, 113 dB peak wow. at 2% distortion. So a great amount there. You know, that's, that's a huge amount. So that's why you can use it for such loud levels of surround. Um, and uh, so we got four of those at ear level. Um, and, uh, you know, what's really great about the technology that we employ is about great coverage over mm -hmm. seat to seats. And so we publish all of our data. So yes. we know how to use it, where to place it, and that follows through in our in walls. Yeah. So this is an in room demo, but we have our in walls, the exact version of our S7T, 117 dB peak at one meter um, with less than 2% distortion. Most people then throw it in an in wall and degrade the performance and yep. not care about it. Um, we, the exact same frequency response as our S7T. So nice. there's no sacrifice to sure. go to, into an in wall. And actually, an in wall behind a transparent screen, such as we have here. Um, is a great solution. It's the, you can use that wall as an advantage. It's mm -hmm. a flat baffle, no diffraction, no right. issues like that. So it's an amazing situation. Well, I had a great time up at Perlison headquarters, probably what, at least a year or two ago. Yeah, exactly. First time I had a chance to hear Perlison and I heard your subs, they blew me away and we had a massive room as well and yeah. you only had two and, of and them. That was two R210S's yeah. and we have that over in the other demo room. Yeah, so, so we have the R5M, uh, 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 monitor speakers mm -hmm. and two R210S. Those are exactly what you heard in that giant space yeah. in the other uh, when you came up to visit us. So, so was, folks are able time. to come and hear your reference series. Yep. They're able to hear the R series. Just really see what Perlison is all about. And you guys bring the heat in this room. And I've seen many, many people just walk out with grins ear to ear just saying that system rocked. Yeah, and I think uh, what's really you want to show off too is that, you know, it's not a million subwoofers, yeah. and you can get great results. Sure. And this is actually a little more reasonable towards what you know a lot of our customers can can employ is like right. you know two subs, four subs. That's a little more common. And but you have great output at low frequencies. Yes. We don't sacrifice bandwidth mm -hmm. for any of our subwoofers. It's about scaling SPL. So our R two ten S will play ten hertz. It won't play it that loud in a large room, but you. If you want to add four subs later, you know, add subs as you can afford it, yeah. or you you just keep adding more subs. You're scaling that SPL to get the output requirements, the more even base response throughout the room, or you can employ our technology. Yeah. So there's a lot of ways to make, uh, you know, to fit the scenario that you're in. Uh, you know, somebody that listens at 80 dB but likes Canon shots at sure. 80 dB, right? He doesn't have to buy a D250s. Gotcha. You know. And so that's a great scenario of no matter what he chooses, you're not going to be left out in the cold about bandwidth and performance. Sure. So. And really always the answer to every question is you just need more subs. Yeah. You can always add more you subs. You can always <laughs> add more subs and that leaves you the option of no. like, I'm not mixing and matching. Well, yeah. this one only plays the 20 and now I'm going to go we'll get one or two bigger ones that, to play low frequencies. It's like, no, just add that exact same model to get more throughout the room. Um, if you're base head, go for the biggest sure. and, you know, do that. But yeah. Uh, we're not about loudness yeah. alone. It's about dynamic range, transient response, doing it accurately, um, and uh, no floppy bass. It's not allowed. Well, no you distortion. Get, you guys are killing it. I yep. love what you represent. You are Thanks. data driven first, but you also have beautiful, gorgeous, yep. not only speakers, but subwoofers as well. You're killing it. Love what you're doing. And you mentioned art. We're actually going to meet over with Storm Audio and talk about what is this technology, what did Storm Audio bring with their processors to make this room come alive. Hi, I'm Matt Trinkline with Storm Audio, and we are here today at M-Wave with the fantastic Michael Stevens, who put this on alongside Ryan Charpanier. Uh, really glad to be out here. Uh, for those of you who I'm sure know at home, this is a really unique show in the fact that it's consumer facing and people are able to be here, experience a whole ton of things. Uh, down at the other side of the hall, they actually have shootouts going on between cables, speakers, subwoofers, all blind testing so people are going to actually really get an unbiased feel for what they like. And we think that's a really, really cool and unique thing that's being done. So 
we, we love that you guys put this on. Thank Appreciate you for taking it, the time, man. We, hey, we really do. You, thanks, you guys man. done a killer job. Well, y'all came to M-Wave 2023 in a big way. This is a massive room. You've got some killer equipment. So maybe walk through what you brought to the show with Storm okay. Audio. So uh, what we've got running in this demo, this is the Perlison Barco Seymour Screen Excellence Mad VR and Storm Audio room. Uh, and what we've got on display here today is the Storm Audio Elite MK3. This is our flagship processor. And sitting right above that is our PA16 amplifier. Now that to my knowledge is uh, the only 16 channel amplifier in that form factor in the residential market space. It's class D Pascal audio amplification. And on top of that, it actually has the ability to have eight of those channels bridged so mm. you can have a higher power output if you need. Uh, what I really want to talk about today though is the Storm Audio ISP because this is actually the first event where we are doing public facing demonstrations of Dirac Live active room treatment. It's been shown to dealers, it's been shown to the industry before, it has not been shown to the general public like this. And in fact, there are actually three different flavors of active room treatment here. There is the Perlison Theater that we've got standing behind me. There is also active room treatment on an MK3 running in the JTR Theater. And there's a third MK3 running active room treatment all the way in the other side of the hall in the room EQ shootout, and that is a Martin Logan system. So everybody who's, who's coming through the show actually gets to hear three different iterations nice. and flavors of active room treatment with different speaker systems, and that's awesome. That's really fantastic. Uh, I've talked a lot about active room treatment on some other streams, so we're going to go just into a little bit of a basic version of what it is. Uh, it is a, a revolutionary addition to Dirac Live's room calibration software suite, and what it adds is two main things. The, both of them are very unique and cool to the space. The first one that it adds is a ANC type, or active noise cancellation, uh, style technology for getting rid of bass decay and reverberation in the room. Um, this is, of course, not going to be a hundred percent, you know, solution. But for those of you who don't have, you know, massive acoustic treatment or an acoustic design package, it makes the system that much better, and it works really, really well. Uh, I run it in my own home. We've been doing deploying it all over the country and all over the world, uh, and so far we just had absolutely fantastic feedback and response from it. The second thing that's really cool about this is that it's a kind of a revolutionary. Uh, step in base management. So no longer do we have a singular crossover point where we're sending our content to our subwoofers. We get to maintain a true to fidelity rendering all the way 360 degrees. Every one of the channels in the room behind me is actually technically speaking running full range. And the way the system works is it looks at what speakers have problems with certain frequencies uh, and uses all of the other speakers in the room to help support in that. And so what you get throughout the listening area is an extremely smooth smooth, even, and consistent bass response. So, you know, no longer do you have a, you know, this seat is that much more perfect than, you know, the one behind it. It brings everything so much closer together in cohesiveness. The other thing that we hear a lot um, that we're getting as feedback to, which is really, really great, uh, in our opinion, is that it kind of makes the surround sound channels disappear. No longer do you feel like you have a, a speaker over here providing you with sound from it. It's more immersive and it brings you farther into the experience, which at the end of the day, that's, that's why we're all here. Absolutely, man. So uh, it's fantastic. Um, love being partnered with, uh, with everybody here. Uh, it's a, a, once again, a great thing that you guys put on. Appreciate it. And then uh, if I could direct your attention over here. Oh, we got more? We actually have one other little beauty that we brought with us. This is the ISP Evo. Evo is short for evolution. This is the future of where we're seeing the processor market space go. This is a all digital immersive surround processor. It comes in a 20 or 32 channel decoding format, and it is either pure AES 67, which is our AOIP standard, or AES EBU, or as some people call it, AES 3. So what this does is it even brings you one step closer to the true fidelity because you don't have the error percentage that you gain from the additional analog to digital and digital to analog conversion stages. So it, we're just getting one step closer to, to being there at, you know, every step of the way. Well, Matt, you guys are definitely some of the core leaders in the industry, especially for home theater. I know you do some great two-channel stuff, but man, being able to implement it to art, art is here. That is a new kind of format. It's definitely, you know, no consumers, like you said, have really had a chance to experience that. 
for the most part, especially at a show, and for you guys being willing to bring that, to set it up, not in one home theater like this, but in three theater experience rooms. Man, we're super grateful to have you here. It's been amazing. This room absolutely rocks. Thank you. It's been a pleasure. Well, guys, we've got more content coming from M-Wave 2023. It's been a blast, but we hope you guys, if you are not here this year, you definitely need to make plans for next year in M-Wave 2024. See you in M-Wave 2024.